Welcome fellow grots and gits out there. Today is not your usual instalment of the long one. Uh, on a monthly basis, I usually tend to release those once off, but in the time being, I'll keep releasing smaller snippets of just my hobby progress in modeling, painting, and that type of thing. So today we're gonna to have a look at a, another unboxing of one of our new Orc models. Today it is the Death Killer War Trike. To be honest, not something I really wanted to get straight away, but I had a really good kit bash idea for it and couldn't help but spend all my governs on it today. But first, we're gonna have a look at a conversion I've been working on over the past two days. Now, this model's idea just popped out of nowhere. Always wanted to do this model. Orc War Boss on bike, index option. Still really useful, but I didn't have a model for it. Games Workshop does not produce a model, so needed to kit bash. Essentially just went through all my bits, had an idea in mind, and came up with a model, which you'll see in a moment. Just hold on. After that, we'll be doing the unbox. And to finish today's show off, we'll be looking at my third idea for a kit bash related to the Death Killer War Trike. What's that gonna be? Stick around to find out. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the like button and subscribe and follow to Golden Grot. Hope to see you later. Hey guys, so as I said before, today we're going to do a bit of an unboxing video for the Death Killer War Trike, as well as show you off some of the, the hobby and kit bash I've been working on lately for my Orcs for 8th edition. So the unboxing will happen in a moment, but first off I'll show you something I'm really proud of at the moment is my Warboss on bike conversion. Here we are. So. This took a stupid amount of kits and pieces to make. Um, I'll just give you a quick glance around of what it looks like first. So this is a counts as index war boss on bike with claw. I wanted that really imposing noticeable orc war boss, which I think I pulled off with this one. Um, I'll give you a breakdown of some of the pieces I've used that you may notice. I've got the Mournfang Cavalry based from the Ogre Kingdoms from Fantasy there. Uh, I've got a, I think it's the Zagdrak, the Bike War Boss from Forge World as the main body for this guy. I've added on uh, the War Boss Claw from uh, Face Ripper there. I've kit bashed a head from a knob and some horns from the fantasy range and some little, uh, get a closer look, some jaw, bones and stuff there. Got some death guns on the side. This part's a shoulder pad from an Armager Warglaive. A uh, little scared attack squig on the front, riding sh shotgun. Uh, this guy's actually from the Chase, which was the limited edition release of a night goblin chasing a squig, which is this guy with a larger squig chasing the goblin. I thought that was just a really cool, fun and effective way to show that this guy has an attack squig for those extra attacks, which helps bring any model to life a bit more telling that story. Um, so yeah, the story on this guy overall is he's originally from a feral orc warband who's slowly being amalgamated into a larger, larger clan that has uh, a use for technology. So you're getting a lot of cyborgs, a lot of that techno side going into the organic. So he's got his claw there. Um, and this guy's got tracks where his back legs used to be, which I find hilarious that he's trying to get around the table like that. But yeah, here's my war boss. All I really need to do on this bad boy is a couple of green stuff in spots and paint her up and she's ready to go. And next up, I'll show you the unboxing of our Death Killer War Trike and let you in on some information that I've been thinking about using that for. Uh, not the traditional way of the War Trike as a lot of people would be wanting to use it, but a cool way no less.
Hey guys, welcome back to the Golden Grot. Uh, just a quick unboxing video for you today for the Death Killer War Trike. Now, to be honest, this is a model I was never really going to buy. I'm not overly sold on the looks of this model. Don't get me wrong, it does look very orky, but I wanted to go for something a little different with mine. So, those of you who know me, I do kit bash very heavily in my models and invest a lot of time hobby wise. So, I will be using this model just for different purposes, but for the time being, let's uh, give it a look. We'll open it up and see what we've got inside to work with. Got some uh, great examples on the back of some different angles of this model, which is really good now that they don't have the stagnant one pose, so you don't really get to look at the model overall. Once again, we have our instruction manual and rules book for this one. Yep, Death Killer War Trike. Yep, all the rules there. Really great if you don't have the rule book as yet, but you've just got the model. So that'll give you a start anyway. And look, we've got a giant squig on the table. Off you get. Never work with children or animals, people. I'm failing on both accounts. So we've got that there. So once again, a single spray. We have what looks like the HQ war boss type character, a pair of guns, a crew. There's also a little uh, oil grot or fuel grot there which I didn't realize was actually in this model until picking the box up myself it does have a lot of potential it's got all these right options on it that you could purchase this just for kit bashing potential in my mind I'm actually converting a more of a feral orc style war trike which I'll show you what I've started in a moment and for the main base of this I'm thinking of either turning into a a pain boy bike or a big mech with custom force field bike. Probably the big mech. Um, I picture a big mech being on a trike type bike with this massive custom force field projector on the back. But we do have a lot of potential for these bits here. We've got the claw there, the guns as I noted before. Some awesome wheels. Some hubs there. Yeah, overall, really good looking kit. Um, Although the model just doesn't sell it for me for what I want to use it for. So in saying that, here is the base idea of what I'm looking at. So, when I think War Killer War Trike, for my fluff themed army, I'm picturing this giant orc war boss here on top of a, uh, a wild beast. So this is the Forge World Rhinox model, uh, Thunderlord I believe. Just a simple head swap. I've taken, uh, I believe it's Grook Face Ripper's head, added in some uh, Gork Claws where the big sword used to be. I'll add some uh, other weapons hanging off this, maybe some Grok Crew, maybe even the uh, second Orc standing on the base and get it going that way. But yeah, that's my overall idea. That's his, his giant claw. I'll add a chain around the arm. Make that look nice and feral. I think it looks really imposing this way uh, in comparison to the rest of my orcs. And if you have seen my orcs before, uh, you'll know that they are a mix of mechanized and feral orcs. So a lot of cyborgs and that type of fun stuff. But yeah, I think all we really need to do is add on some of these uh, extra guns on this model onto this bad boy and it'll be right to go. So tell me what you think, uh, am I a bit of a crazy git buying this fantastic expensive new model only to take it apart and kit bash it, or am I doing the orky thing and actually investing a lot of time in hobby which is the really cool side of collecting rocks. You decide, let me know in the comments, like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, um, and you'll get to see more of these little videos and the progress over this guy as he gets better. Uh, see you guys.